And so you see one species that can, can manage humanity a little bit better than another. And I think that's what happened with grizzly bears. And now we're at this point with them that essentially the bucket's full in all these recovery areas, especially the GYE and the NCDE, the Northern Continental Divide, where that's where they were tasked with recovering them. And they were supposed to recover them in those little, those areas. And they did such a great job that the grizzly bears are so recovered, they're spilling out into all these fringe areas that was not deemed suitable habitat for them and was not in the Endangered Species Act, you know, not part of the recovery area. And so as we move forward, we start seeing more conflict with bears. People are starting to hate grizzly bears more and more because they cause a lot of problems and they're dangerous. And so, you know, it, it's it's a weird thing where we're starting to see more and more people come out and say, well, they don't occupy but 4% of their natural range. And I'm like, okay, if you want them to occupy more of their natural range, you have to leave. Get get Sell your house, go to another country because we will never be able to see those, <laughs> see them be much yeah. bigger than that because we live in their space. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at now. I mean, that's a very broad, right. broad brush look at kind of like the grizzly bear um, and, you know, we can get into all the nuances and, and, and details of the different populations and everything, but yeah, that's, that's kind of where we're at now with the grizzly bear.